Okay, you've got five minutes. I'm gonna show you some exercises that will help loosen up the tight neck and shoulders you might have from all your Zoom calls or time at the computer, okay? I've got my mat here today, so all you need is a mat or a space uh, to work out, okay? I'm gonna start on all fours, and I'm gonna do the cat-cow stretch. So first, you just align yourself up, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Okay, so inhale, I'm going to look out. As I exhale, I'm going to press the palms and I'm going to drop my head, relax my shoulders, hollow out and try to carve out a C with your belly. So really just pull this in with the exhale. Inhale, I'm going to unravel the spine and lengthen. As you exhale, connect the breath with the movement, hollow out and curl up. Let's try three more. Lean a little bit forward with your um, cow stretch. Exhale, scoop up and lean a little bit back with the cat stretch. Two more, inhale, looking ahead. Exhale, scoop up and just hollow out looking at the knees. One more, inhaling. Press the palms as you hollow out and scoop. Awesome, now come back to neutral. We're gonna shake it out here and go to the pointer. So you're going to bring your right leg back and your left arm ahead. Straight as an arrow and you're going to count to 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Try some deep breathing now. All right. Now we're going to tap the foot on the hand and lift it up for 10. All right. So this is inhale down, exhale up. 2, Three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. You should be looking at the mat. Two more. Up. And last one. Switch sides. So my left leg and my right arm are ahead. I'm going to count down from ten. Nine. Breathing in and out. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Really squeeze that leg, four, three, two, and one. Now same thing, you're going to tap the foot and the hand down, inhale, and exhale, lift up. So inhale, tap, exhale, eight, seven, six, draw the abdominals in, five, four, three, two, and last one, great job, child's pose. Really pull back, let your head rest on the mat, tuck the chin, and take a deep breath in and out. Now I'm gonna ask you to kind of lean on your left arm, look under your right armpit, and switch sides. Okay, so we're just trying to get a little shifting through the mid back, come back to center, and come on up on all fours again. We're gonna thread the needle. So I'm gonna bring my right arm up to the sky. All right, inhaling. And then I'm gonna five times, I'm gonna thread the needle. So pull the stomach in as you thread the needle. So my shoulder's on the mat, my right palm is up to the sky. So four more, it's up, inhale, exhale. Three, exhale. Two, breathing out, reach through. And then last time we're gonna hold it. So hold this one down and then reach your left hand straight ahead. It's gonna feel so good. Take a deep breath in and out. Ooh. Walk your left hand in and try the other side. So your left arm is up, inhale. Exhale, hollow out, thread the needle. Four more up and breathing in. Exhale through the mouth as you reach far away. Three more inhale and exhale. Two, reach. And last one, you'll hold it. Inhale up, follow the gaze of the hand. Reach through and stretch your right hand away now. And just take a big breath in and out. It should feel awesome. Walk the right hand in and come on back up to cat-cow. So you're gonna stir the pot now. So you're gonna take your hips, 
and draw a circle three times to the left, counterclockwise, although I'm dating myself saying that, right? <laughs> Hardly anyone watches a real clock anymore. Everything's digital. Now you're gonna go to the right, three times to the right. One, I love this one, stir the pot. Ooh, all right, shake out those hands a little bit. Reach far away, come up to a plank inhale. Yes, you can. Now exhale, break at the hips and pike up to down dog. You have 10 of those. Here we go, inhale 10. Breathe out, down dog. Inhale nine, breathe out. Eight, scoop. Really squeeze those legs, spread the toes. Seven, inhale plank. Exhale, pike down dog. And five more. Scoop up. Breathing through the nose. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Three more. Inhale. Pull the belly in. Inhale. Two. Look ahead. I'm looking down. Last one. Plank to pike. And we're going to hold your pike, your down dog. Really let your head go and say no. No, I don't want to wear my mask anymore. <laughs> but say yes, yes, this is going to uh, end soon. Don't worry, Moira, right? And alternate bending those knees, walking the dog. So down dog is really about pressing the palms firmly so that you can really stretch the upper back and shoulders are pressing down. All right, let's come down to the knees now and go to a child's pose. With all that time on the palms, break at the wrists and tuck your fingers the opposite way to give yourself a little chance to recover. All right, good job. So now we're gonna go down on our forearms, okay? And I'm gonna ask you to hold a plank and you've got 30 seconds here. Now. This is really good for you. I know it's hard. People complain about planks to me all the time, okay? Basically, a 30-second plank is five deep breaths in and out. If you could just, this is just a little Moira-ism, if you could bring your heels together behind you and really squeeze up your bum as hard as you can, closest to the base, the, uh, the base of your spine, that would be awesome. Five deep breaths here, ladies and gents. Inhale deeply and exhale. Look at your fingertips. Inhale four, squeeze your bum, I said. Three, exhale, two, breathe out through the mouth all the way. Last deep inhalation and exhalation and you are going to lie down on your stomach. Welcome, you have arrived. <laughs> just kidding all right so now we're gonna do one of my all-time favorite exercises called the breast stroke just to protect your lower back you're gonna open your feet as wide as the mat and just make pretend you're swimming in the ocean okay you are going to exhale dive in the water and inhale you circle your hands to the hips exhale dive and inhale lift up Exhale, dive. And inhale. Let's just try two more here. Breathe out. And breathe in. Try to keep your legs from lifting up. One more. They're big muscles, so they're going to try to come in and help you. And you're going to hold it here. So again, your legs and your feet are resting comfortably. They are not part of this um, equation, so to speak. Okay? And you are squeezing your shoulder blades back and your triceps are working. Triceps are a huge part of posture. And look up as much as you can and then tuck your chin. That is where you should be in your alignment. So the crown of my head all the way down to the hips is like one diagonal straight line. Awesome job. Try one more big breath in and relax. Great job. So now we're going to come back to child's pose again. All right, scooping the belly. It's really important to stretch your back, your mid back this way where you're curving it after you get a lot of extension. Okay, so child's pose is like this where you're leaning on your arms 
head is resting on the mat. Pilates shell stretch is when you scoop the belly really hard and you're gonna pull your arms halfway back so you're not leaning on your hands anymore. They're just gentle touch with the fingertips and you're scooping your belly really hard. That's called a shell stretch in Pilates. All right, so you're just stretching that area. Okay, good. Now, moving right along, we're gonna sit up nice and tall and we're gonna bring our arms in a T and legs in a V for spine twist. So you're just twisting at the waistline, side to side, and just try to see if you can make the movement, initiate the movement, excuse me, with the core. So in other words, just don't use your arms to get there. Okay, the arms are coming along for a ride. All right, see how my arms are staying in a perfect line here, or I'm trying to or doing this video. And then once you get the hang of going back and forth, maybe 10 times, let's go to the right for the count of three. All right, so draw the abdominals in, sit up nice and straight, chin up, tall spine. And then you're gonna turn one, two, three. Inhale, center, and then it's up. Inhale, center, all right? One more time to the right, two, three, inhale. And left, two, three. Great job. Now, let's go to the right, breathing in. Draw the abdominals in and try to touch that opposite foot. Stack up, return, and go the other way. This is called the saw. Stack up tall, return. Nice job. Feet together, inhale, arms up. And exhale, scoop, stretch forward. Those are some nice, gentle exercises to relieve the pressure in your neck and shoulders. If you'd like to stay, I'm just gonna show you a couple of more things here sitting up tall for a half rollback. So my arms stay parallel with the floor, feet are hip distance, heels are digging in, inhale, sit up. Try to keep the legs still while you scoop halfway back. This is called half, and a C curve. This is called half rollback. All right, that's another really good one. Inhale, try to just keep your arms parallel, scooping back, exhale. And then you can try three more there. Breathe out, curl back. This just feels so good on your back. If you have any pain at all, you can also put two more here. You can also put a ball or a pillow behind your lower back. And it's like you're leaning back into that cushion, but you're scooping the belly to get there. All right, and then you have obliques roll back. Will you curl back and extend, follow the gaze. Can you see that? I'll kind of move up a little bit here. And then try the other arm. So you scoop and you look back. And this is sort of like that um, thread the needle where you're following the gaze. Inhale, up, up. Exhale, scoop and look behind. So follow the gaze of the hand. One more time to the right. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, scoop. Good, all right, good. Now, this is another, again, a bonus for you. <laughs> All right, this is called, I call this the cha-cha. So you're gonna scoop and do that same half rollback. Can you see me? So it's a scoop, half rollback. I'm gonna raise my arms up and that's harder. Now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to scoop and lean back. All right, keep my arms straight and I'm gonna go cha-cha-cha. Can you see how my mid-back is moving? And this is a core exercise. So you can also go to the count of two beats and just go ch, 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 pulling your stomach in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Sit up tall, bring your arms in a circle, curl back, bring the feet together for this one, knees together. And you're just going to go side to side. Exhale. Try to see if you can tap the elbow on the floor or on the mat right beside you. Okay, so this is called a number of different things. With your arms are straight, it's usually called the Russian twist. I like arms in a circle because I kind of aim for my elbow. All right, and you're just, work, you're just working the core and again, trying to get that movement through the thoracic spine or what we call your rib cage. All right, great job. All right, let me know how that works for you, and we'll see you on the next video. Follow me on YouTube if you're interested. Thanks, bye-bye.